first radio interview here for Niles Peacock Kitchen and Bar with KVI Radio down here at the Como building. And um, Christopher Chan is going to be the one that's going to be interviewing us. We're really excited about this. We're going to be on Happy Hour Radio, which is on Saturday at uh, 5 p.m., I believe. Maybe not. Ah! So here we go. First interview, KVI Radio. Hey, welcome back. I got a pal here who's in the studio. Now it's Peacock. He's uh, taking the leap of uh, faith and long hours to follow his dreams. Um, he's got a new place come opening up, and we'll talk about that. So now it's Peacock. Hey, welcome to Happy Hour. Thanks, Chris. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, it's a Saturday night. You know, get away, and uh, you have a restaurant opening. But first, tell me how you got in the biz. Well, I got into the business when I was in New York City in college studying fashion design, and I uh, lied to someone that had a bar that I could bartend. And uh, the first bartending shift, uh, there was a gunfight. I was shot at, and uh, nobody got hurt. So in New York? In New York City, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, had... so what, what are they drinking in New York? What was this, 97? This was back in 1992. 92, okay. And in 92, we were drinking a lot of straight liquor and sweet drinks. <laughs> I was going to say, I was thinking Cosmopolitans were big back then and lemon drops. Uh, and they haven't faded away. What was the name of that bar? It was called the Lead Bar down on St. Mark's. Lead for, like, gun lead? Bullets. That's what I would think now. You know, we had first bartending shift. We had two guests that came in from Australia. Uh, there was a gunfight in the back with the owner and two guys. Ran out, got bullets flying everywhere. They ran out into the street, chasing each other down the street, shooting at each other. What neighborhood is this? This is on St. Mark's down in the West Village. Okay. And so that's changed enough, though now. Everything's changed in, well, everywhere it seems. In retrospect, I thought it was odd that the cops never showed up. <laughs> they were afraid. Got it. Uh, cool place. So uh, here you are in Seattle. You saw how easy it is to open up a restaurant. With all this new construction, everybody needs a tenant, and they're probably very competitive. Uh, what's uh, your new uh, restaurant or bar theme? So uh, we're a cocktail-centric restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's called Niles Peacock Kitchen and Bar down at 4025. Not Niles Peacock Stonewall. Tales? Not Niles Peacock Tales. I actually resisted calling it Niles Peacock for a while. Uh, my staff insisted that was a good name. And after six months of coming up with names that got shot down, we decided to call it Niles Peacock Kitchen and Bar. Okay, and where where, and when will this be open? So we're looking at a November opening. Excellent. And it's on the uh, west side of the street on Stoneway. And I say the west side because I grew up in Wallingford, and Stoneway separates Wallingford from Fremont. So right. west side is Fremont, east side street's Wallingford. We're at 4025 Stoneway, though. Okay. And so November, this is November 1. We're looking at November 15. You'll never really know until you get to October 30th and go, where are we? You uh, are going to participate in a big event coming up, which is an annual event celebrating some of the best of the best. Super excited about that. We're going to be doing the James Beard Taste America Raising the Bar Seattle. That's going to be on Thursday, October 3rd at Block 41, 6 p.m. And I'm fortunate to be down there with some awesome mixologists. we got Amanda Reed coming down there from uh, Heartwood Provisions, yeah. Laura Garcia from Gold Bar. Then we got Navy Strength, actually was voted best bar in the U.S. I'm yes. super happy to be down there with Chris Elfer to meet him. And it's going to be a great event. So I'm really looking forward to it. And it's a great springboard for us not being open yet. We're the only place that hasn't put our foot down and opened our doors to people that's getting to participate in this event. So it's just really humbling and honored to be part of it. I think all of us growing this city with the food with the drinks, with the wine, is really helping develop the culture that we have here that attracts people to come and see our restaurant scene. That's that easy. All right, yeah, pal. Good so luck. Much, have Chris a great Burr. time. Cheers. Hey, that's Niles Peacock. Uh, you know, he went from not from lying his way into grad school <laughs> to creating his own university for cocktails. Congratulations to him. <laughs> Hi, Mom. So first hit radio interview went great. As anything, for the first time, as soon as I'm done, I'm thinking of the 10 things that I didn't say. But you know what? I had a great time doing it. Niles Peacock here from Niles Peacock Kitchen and Bar. We just did our first radio interview with Christopher Chan at KBI Radio for Happy Hour Radio, talking about the James Beard event. We're so excited to be doing this at Block 41 on the 3rd of October, Raising the Bar Seattle. That's all for now. Niles Peacock, out. <laughs>